Hello and welcome to Programming Rush. In this video, we are going to explore the widgets in Flutter. So, first of all, what are widgets? If you see the de definition in the Flutter documentation, in this uh, link api.flutter.dev, which uh, gives a huge library of widgets, okay, documentation related to widgets. The first thing that the widget class describes what is a widget. It says that the widgets are the central class hierarchy in Flutter framework. A widget is an immutable description of part of user interface. Widgets can be included into elements which manage the underlying render tree. And what this in simple words mean that we have a whole this screen and inside it we have some of the parts of screen like this top bar that is called the status bar, then this app bar, then this text. All are in our, all our widgets. If you look at our code, we first of all call the run app, and inside it, at the very beginning, we call a widget. Okay, and you might ask that how is my widget? So you can see that we are creating a class and which extends a stateless widget, but we don't know what is a stateless widget. In the next video, we are going to explore two types of widgets that are stateless and stateful widget. But for now, keep in mind that uh, when we extend a stateless widget, the widget, the contents cannot be changed after they are being displayed or after they are being initialized. Okay, so these are all means constant. This they can't be changed. This is the very basic definition of stateless widget. So now my app is a widget. Inside that widget, what we are returning is a material app, and what material app if we go into the de uh, definition here in the below, it creates a material app widget and it is the home route or or when you see a URL like this api.flutter.dev and if you remove all these things, this is the if you, this is this was created in Flutter, then this is the material app the base URL. Okay this is what the material app says and it contains all the ui parts that a uh, app should require like the status bar then it should have a body or home that we say this part is the home part okay under the status bar this is the home part if you don't use uh, means this whole part is the home bar if you don't use this uh, material app things would change because we are not using uh, the material UI okay material UI is a standard thing that we need to use or that we generally use in Flutter so material app is the thing that we use always now inside that material widget we have some things like title of course this is not a widget but this is a property of material app that we can change then the theme this is another property then the home now home what it takes it takes a widget another widget okay and inside that widget, we return another widget called scaffold. Now, what is scaffold? If we go into the documentation, it creates a visual scaffold for material design widgets. Okay. Now, now the status bar is gone. That under that, everything that we have is a scaffold. Now, first of all, we know that we have created an app bar. So this top bar is in a blue box is with the text is the uh, app bar as you can see this is another widget because app bar takes a type of uh, widget now this is a special type of widget called preferred size widget but it's a widget and you need to place a type of widget that is a preferred size widget inside the app bar the body which takes which takes any widget as you can see it takes any widget and we have placed the center widget now center is another widget and we want to place the contents in center that is why this part uh, inside that we provide a child which takes another widget now you might be confused that what i'm saying but so as you can see in my screen that we have taken a design from the this link that dribble.com and a user has posted his design so you, you can see that first of all we have a material app and this whole part is called the material app whole screen like this whole mobile screen is the material app next at the top we have the status bar 
and then the app bar and including that app bar we have the rest part of the scaffold okay this uh, app bar is also included in the scaffold but for the clarity i have mentioned it in different way but you need to understand that app bar is the part of scaffold now next inside that scaffold widget we have a uh, text text widget under that we have a row widget which have two elements you can see there are four elements today december 12 75 percent and completed task another row widget under it then a horizontal line as you can see and then inside that uh, row widget we have some elements as well and you, as you can see that first of all this is a custom widget then a text widget then another custom widget and the board is a this is written boards is a text widget so you can also create custom widgets which we are going to learn in the later videos that how to create a custom widget but this is the thing that a app has that we can create a whole root of you as you can see that first of all material app then scaffold then the widgets inside that or uh, inside a row widget and a lot of widgets and also we can make a whole root of widgets a like whole tree of widgets now let's implement them one by one so flutter provides a lot of widgets and implementing them uh, in a single video will not be possible so what we are going to do we are going to explore some of the popular widgets that are common widgets we use generally first of all as you have seen that we have a center widget inside that we have a text widget if you want to check it uh, change it like this uh, hello uh, if we save it you can see the change here hello now we are we know this widget so we are going to change it and we want to place a button so to place a button you just write elevated sorry elevated button and inside that we have two things required first of all on press so it says that uh, what will happen if you press the button so it takes a function and it also takes a child and inside that we can place again a widget that is the text widget and i can i will just write a press uh, me or click me like this and if we save it like okay the constant cannot be possible here because elevated button uh, can, his, has a function so we cannot make it constant okay so if we now save it you are just getting a button here if you tap here you are just getting a school uh, good splash type animation so here is our elevated button and we can just print a message here like uh, we want to print a uh, hello and welcome okay and close the semicolon here and save it okay now if you open the debug console and just uh, Plus press the click me button you can see that hello and welcome is in print this is very simple thing of the elevated button and next we have another widget which is called the column widget so what is a column widget uh, column widget does nothing but places the element one by one from top to bottom in this whole space okay so we can just create a column widget which takes the children okay children because it takes multiple widgets so we can just place many text here like cons uh, text and uh, hello world then we can place a elevated button uh, with some uh, text again so here are the three widgets that we have introduced in our column widget and as you can see that we have got three widgets in a uh, first of all the hello world then the button and then another text but you might say that it isn't it uh, looking not good so we can change the alignment as well like main axis alignment to center and then what it will do it will place the content center but it is still not in the middle of screen because the column widget uh, does not take the whole uh, width of screen and to do that what we can do just wrap it inside a center widget okay a center widget places everything in the center 
and now you can also change the axis alignment to space evenly and it will be spaced evenly so this was the thing of with column widget same with you can see with the row widget if you change it to row and it keep the thing same you will see the change here like they are uh, placed uh, side by side like this and if also you can also click them but it is not working now because we don't have anything to print so the next widget that we are going to learn is the list widget so change this row to the list uh, view list view is another widget that we generally use and if we save it and remove this center uh, widget like center is not required here okay and then what we can do we can just uh, copy this uh, part and paste it multiple times now we have lots of widgets here as you can see and we can also have we also have this scrolling functionality as you can see we can scroll through the widgets this is the pa part of the row that the row widget or the column widget cannot do the list view widget allows us the uh, functionality to scroll widgets and this was the basic thing about the list widget list view widget and that was the very basic overview of the different types of widget and if you want to learn more about different types of widget go to the api.flutter.dev and inside it go to this uh, url link that flutter widgets widget library and you can see here a whole lot of long library of different types of widgets and you can search for it like i want to search the list view okay and it will show that a tutorial on it that how to create it then you can just search here for row widget And here is another tutorial on it so you can uh, see different types of widgets here and here is a long list of tutorials and long list of widgets there are more than i think 200 300 widgets so you can use them to create any application that you want thank you for watching this video if you like the video please uh, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe programming rush